Good evening boys and girls and welcome back to another video. Tonight we're just doing a little quick video. We're going to look at the emulation of Amiga AGA under under um, under Apollo OS or OS 3.9. Uh, this is quite an old version, Richard Drummond. I don't think it's um, I don't think it's actually worked on anymore, but I could be wrong. I need to look into that. Read me. What's the keys? Still do. Yeah, yeah. Compile it yourself. Yeah. Who knows? Anyway. So, when you start... Ooh, uh, when you start it, you have to go into settings and select where you want stuff to go. Which is fair enough. I've already copied some files over. So let's try. Um, let's try. No, let's, let's leave it windowed. Show LEDs, yes. Chip RAM, okay. It's got a 2 meg chip. Bit of fast. Why would you give it fast? I don't know, let's just make it standard. 2 meg chip, okay. So we'll put Aladdin 1 in DFO. And let's start and see what happens, shall we? This should be interesting. Interestingly slow. Build date, 2007, okay. 0 0.8. Hmm. If this run ran uh, at a quick speed, which it won't. Uh, it would be a nice substitute until Goal 3 comes along. But hey, I mean, the emulation is slow. We know it's slow. That's just the way it is. So what's happening? So the green LED is flashing for the track selector of the floppy drive, DFO. It seems to be set at 0, 0 for some reason. So it can't read track 1, or uh, track 0. So this might even boot up with a workbench screen. Not the workbench, the kickstart screen rather. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting my words mixed up. Come on Amiga. This is um, an Amiga 600 with the uh, vampire. <coughs> Hello, track one. I hope this is not a, a real rendition of the speed. Oh, track two. We're motoring along. Track three. Oh my god, this is the slowest thing on earth. Track four. Oh my good god. So this is um, pretty terrible, really. 16-bit color depth, 50 megahertz. Okay, what happens if we run OCS with? Um, let's give it one med chip. <coughs> Kicks out 1.3, if you say so. And we'll give it Workbench 1.3. You can be in DFO. Full screen. Let's try it in a window again. Okay, let's try that. Let's see if we can get a little bit more speed at least out of the, the floppy drive LEDs just to see if it runs with any sort of speed whatsoever. Seems a bit, oh, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, the floppy LED is a little bit more sprightly now. The track selector is going crazy. So AGA is obviously a no-no at the moment. It's just too slow. 
I wonder if Richard Drummond is doing any any updates. So this is booting Workbench 1.3, I should think. Even though it has an Amiga ROM uh, 3.1 emulated. The local hoodlums walking about outside. Come on, workbench. I just, uh, I've never tried this before. I just quickly set it up a few moments ago and, and got it to sort of boot. I thought, oh, I'll, I'll do a little video and um, we'll see how it goes. But it's too slow to use at the moment. Perhaps with the Apollo V4, um, we might have some reasonable performance from it, but V2 is just a little bit too leisurely at the moment. Ooh, CLI 2. Oh my goodness, it is slow. Can you move the mouse? Uh, okay. I might pop out on the internet and just have a little look how uh, what Richard Drummond is up to these days. If he's still doing any work in the in the Meagle end, I suspect he isn't. I remember using uh, Richard Drummond's. I think it was Richard Drummond's um, um, emulator for the uh, for for the, for the Amiga on the Mac some years ago, because it was all that was available at that time. I'm going back a long time now. This is pointless, it's emulating the machine it's running on now in emulation, so it's a completely pointless affair. But at least you can see the track selector zooming along. How long has this been now? The video is 7 minutes so far, so it must have been running for 5 minutes to get to workbench. Oh my, this is a this is a steady affair. Come on Amiga, you can do it. Thank you for using Roadshow. Now I'm off. I do need to remove that. I don't know if that's in startup or um in um oh hello. Is that a sign of oh it's a sign of life. Look at that cool. Ooh. Well, it's not exactly fast, is it? But I never expected it to be, to be honest. That. So what else can we do? Can we speed it? How can we speed it up? OCS. Maximum. Is there any sound? I wonder. Display window speed. OCS overlay. OS 1.2. Um, fast, slow, chip. Well, if it was an Amiga, oh, I don't go that low. I'm gonna say if it was a uh, an Amiga 1000, that should go down to 256 kilobytes. But it doesn't. That's okay. Well, that's the minimum. That is the minimum that I can do. Let's try that. Let's see how this goes. I 
I've never, in all the years I've owned an Amiga, I've never emulated an Amiga on an Amiga. So this is a first for me. I don't suppose it'd run any faster in full screen. I don't know what the 472 is in the corner. 476, rather. And the 11. Ooh. 1.2. My first Amiga 500 was a 1.2. And it did have 512k back in the olden days. It'd be fascinating to play with this if the um, if it was optimised in any way. Thirty-four point two eight. One point three point two. Yeah, that's exactly, I think, that is exactly what I had back in the day. We just need speeding up. Come on, Amiga. Should have timed it, shouldn't I? Really, pretty dumb, it's too slow to be of any use. It's unlikely we're going to be playing a Lotus Challenge on it or anything else for that matter. I wonder if the Apollo guys could do anything with um, this emulator. The 7th of August 2017, 21 22, that is exactly correct. It is almost 30 years since I had my first Amiga 500 then. It was February 1988. I just started work. I started work in December 1987, I think. Or November, can't remember now. And I thought the Amiga would rule the world. And everyone would have an Amiga. <laughs> Come on, Amiga. And there is no possible way that I can speed this up. Some clever coders could, I'm sure, but I can't. I'm neither, cle neither clever nor a coder. But that's okay. This, um, what, what? I used to, there used to be, um, on the PC in DOS, there used to be an Amiga emulator which came on a single floppy disk and I bought it from a market. The guy selling a load of PD software. I think it was Doncaster Market. And this would have been in the mid 90s. Um, I don't remember the name of it. It might, it might have been a variation of Fellow. It wasn't UAE, I don't think. Might have been Fellow or something else, but it booted booted from DOS. Or, or you ran it in DOS anyway, and it came up with a menu screen. I can never get the. I don't think I ever got it to work, or if I did, this is the sort of performance it had. It was dreadful. I must have got it to work for, for to remember it was dreadful, but. Um, yeah. Come on, just show me the icons and that'll do for today. Clearly, um, clearly I'm not going to be emulating AGA on the Vampire anytime soon. I'll have to time it at the weekend if I get a chance. Put an A500 down. Or, or just the 600 without um, without the vampire in, and just time how long it takes to boot Workbench 
from floppy disk. It's about a, is it a minute? Might be less than a minute. Might be thirty seconds. I can't remember now. Well, I could run sysinfo on it. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Run sysinfo on the emulator. Well, this is um, testing my patience now. Come on, you must be almost there. You must be almost there. It's like waiting for an Atari to load. I've, um, I've been setting up my home network this evening with what little time I've had. So I now have um, my Mac machines and Windows machines all communicating with each other, all sharing drives. I intend to get the Amiga also sharing drives so I can transfer files from machine to machine without having to um, use any sort of media. Oh, there we go. Workbench 1.3. Oh god, yeah. Initialize, that's right. Wasn't even format, was it? Come on then, is it a secret? Kickstart version 33.180. Oh, those happy days. Oh, oi. Get. Workbench 1.3 would have had um, it had say in it and notepad. I used to keep a diary on my notepad when I was a youth. My girlfriend at the time, she, she told me later she spent hours trying to get into Workbench to read my diary, but she could never get it. Never understood how it worked, so she never read it. That's what she said anyway. Well, there we go. We have an Amiga emulating an Amiga if it was ju if it was 50% quicker it would be okay but clearly it's not maximum speed there's obviously all kinds of f oh okay um, okay well that'll do it's clearly a complete waste of time, but I thought it'd be interesting just to have a look. So that is EUAE. -E. It hasn't been updated since 2007. What a shame. SDL based driver. Hmm. Evil Rich at rcdrummond.net. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, guys, that'll do from me for this evening. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.